today. I have got a bit of an interesting video to do today. Um, I am going to do an unboxing of these tarot cards and then I'm going to compare them to a deck that I have in my collection, but I don't know which one yet because I have not opened this deck yet. So a little backstory as it probably says in the title somewhere. I bought this deck of cards at HomeSense. <laughs> um, it's a, if you don't have a HomeSense, it's part of like Marshall's Winners. Uh, it's basically a home goods store. They also sell clothing sometimes, um, but just like candles and you know home decor and all kinds of wonderful things. And it was just a few weeks before Halloween and I was walking through and I found on an end cap that they had a bunch of tarot decks. And it was with, you know, different signs and magical, mystical things. So I actually have a video of that. I'll probably just add it at the end. So if you want to see what the end cap looked like, <laughs> stay tuned. Um, but I I looked through all of the decks that they had for sale. And this is, this one, well, I had some reasons I didn't buy the other ones. Um, partly because it was using the uh, Pamela Coleman Smith's artwork. And her name was nowhere to be found on the decks. And I know the... Um, the copyright has run out for those images, but it is still her art. So, you know, credit where credit is due. Um, so these say, <laughs> let's take a look at this. Um, it's a very cute little, like it looks like a book, um, the little box that it comes in. I haven't opened it yet. It's still completely sealed. So we'll do that together. On the front, it asks a couple of questions. You know, how will I find my soulmate? Where will I be in 10 years time? And what can I do to love myself? So that's what we got on the front. Uh, we've got tarot cards on the side, and then it just gives you a little bit of information on the back. Again, I was kind of looking for, you know, do, do any of these decks have publishers? Do they have artists listed or creators? Um, this one at least said Professor Puzzle <laughs> is the company that put this out. Um, there's no mention on the box who the artist is of this deck. It appears to be a uh, Pip style deck from, you know, just the one image there, two images there of non-majors, but then we've got the hand, so we'll see. We'll see what we are diving into here. So I'm excited. We might go ahead and do a podcast about this video later, about our, our overall thoughts on it, but I will surely say my thoughts. We have talked about, we've done podcasts before on, you know, bootleg decks and things like that. I don't think this art is ripped off. Um, I, of course, never would have bought something that had stolen stolen it's actually you know it's stolen artwork from someone so I, I i hope that these images if anyone in the tarot community sees this and you recognize these images um, and an artist that that made them that didn't get credited please let me know in the comments because i need to know that kind of thing um, i'm not familiar with it myself so let's take a look so nice little insert this is kind of cute okay i can get on board with this and then inside we have, okay, we have the deck. It does appear to be a nice, you know, 78 card deck. I always check before I open it and make sure that it's not damaged. Not like this is going back. This is probably the most inexpensive pack I have ever bought. I don't know if you saw it on the back, but it was $7.99. And that's Canadian dollars. So, very exciting. All right, let's take a quick look at the instruction booklet. Okay, nice. So we have a little intro, a couple of keywords there to go with all of the cards. It does seem to have, yeah, it does seem to be, you know, Rider Waite Smith style. Keywords. A, oh, hey, we do have a spread. We got the Celtic Cross there in the back. All right, cute. I am interested in the cards. So let's take the little. Okay, so this I guess is the back. It says tarot cards on it. A nice non-reversible back, but hey, it's a $7 pack. Um, cardstock. It's not too bad actually. It is a little bit, not like a full gloss, but it definitely has some shine to it. I need to remember I'm not really reviewing this deck, but in a way. So, you know, I'm going to turn on some music. We're going to flip through all the cards. And I'll come back here at the end and we can kind of talk about the imagery, the artwork, and what my thoughts are. Okay, uh, let's hop into the flip through.
Okay. <laughs> well, this is why I don't impulse buy decks. This is why I have become much more discerning in my in my practice, in my collecting of decks. Um, I like to be sure before I buy a deck. And this, you know, was... Oh, it was a swing and a miss. It was a swing and a miss. Okay, so let's look at the court cards here. Um, you know what? We can just go through kings. Let's look at these. Well, the kings, I guess, aren't terrible. The kings and the queens maybe aren't terrible, apart from it's just the same face hovering over each of the each of the suits. I don't know. <laughs> That's, that's just not, that's not, not doing it for me. And same thing with the queen. You know, we've got her zoomed in a little. Oh, no, okay. I stand corrected. We do have a different queen's face there, but three of the queens have the same face. Um, I mean, this might not bother everyone, but if I, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to hop into critical mode. Let's go there. Okay, so let's look at the knights, which these to me are among the most poorly done. Um, it's okay. I mean, I, I can get on board with the shield. Okay. Um, why does each one have a sword in it? Except for the knight of wands. Three of these have swords in them. There's only one that's swords. They get some little horse, you know, pegasus type creatures. Um, and then what is, what is this? What is this for a knight of wands? Like, <laughs> does it not just look like they kind of gave up? Um, is there not, do they not have a, a wands crossing card? I don't, maybe they didn't. Not quite, apart from, you know, ten of wands to the knight of wands. I, mm, that's bad. That is bad. Okay, and then we have the page of wands. Page of cups. So I don't even know what order I'm in anymore. I mean, these I don't, I don't all the way hate, I guess. I mean, what is that really different from, let's look at the Ace of Cups. You know, just a hand and a cup, but this one is, is inside a floating circle. So that's going to be the page, I guess. Um, I mean, sure, let's just pull up Page of Pentacles versus the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, I guess I don't hate the hand thing. It can it can leave a little bit more to the intuitive faculties. This looks like almost just they mirrored the picture the other way around. Okay, and then well, this is swords again. Where are my wands? The table's getting a little out of control. And no, at least this one the, the fingers are closed over, so that's almost the same. That's the exact same hand. It's just they've changed the. Oh my gosh. Do, do I even bother with the rest of this video? Um, okay, well, it's a, it's a video, so let's just keep talking a little bit more. So the court cards, it's a bit of a swing and a miss. Um, the pip cards, I mean, they're okay, I guess. I, I don't love them. Um, I kind of thought it was neat what they had done, I guess, with the the hands and the four. But then they did the the same hand in the four of coins, um, which, I mean, fair enough, but that just, I don't know. It's, that wasn't badly done, you know, that two of coins for being a pip with having the, the hands over top. But then in the four, they just kind of do it again. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, you know, the... Let's, okay, instead of me just complaining about this deck, um, is there anything else I liked about it? So it seemed like 7 to 10, uh, yeah, it was the 6s, I think a lot of the 6s had the moon phase with it. Um, sure, okay. I don't know. I'm, I might just, like, not bother going any further with these pips. They're not, they're not great, but they're not... I guess terrible. I mean, we do have our little heart there in the Three of Swords. I do like this Two of Swords. They've got, you know, the hands there, whether that's 
same person's hands or different people's hands. I kind of like that aspect to it. You have, you know, the snake symbolism here. Um, we had the squigglies on one of the other cards. Anyway, okay, so the pips are okay. I mean, if we were to rate the, the court cards, that's sitting at like a 2 out of 10, maybe 1. I don't know, I can bear to give it 2. The pips, yeah, okay, they're just unillustrated pips. Sure. Um, let's be a generous four to five. But let's look at the majors, because actually I didn't mind I didn't mind the artwork in these majors. Some of these are actually pretty darn cute. Um, and I did, when I paused the video there before, I did check to see if there was any mention of an artist in this book anywhere. I can't find anything. The only information I have again is the publisher. So wh whoever did this artwork, I liked what you did with the majors. These are quite pretty. Um, you know, just that nice, the white, beige, and black color palette. Like, I mean, that's kind of cute. I could see myself using this as a majors only deck. I wouldn't uh, completely abandon the idea of working with those as pip cards, because, uh, you know, pip cards aren't supposed to be illustrated. So I'm not really comparing them to that. It was just more how they had done it between suits, where it just didn't really seem to fit was the problem I was having there. Um, the tower, I mean, we don't have little people flying from it, which, you know, that's one of the, the greatest features of the tower, but I mean, I can, I can get on board with that. You know, I like the devil. Temperance, why are you, oh yeah, okay, I'm going backwards. <laughs> um, that's a cute death card. I like this death card, you know, he's nice. I've, I've honestly got nothing bad to say about these majors. Um, yeah, we've got justice as 11 and strength as eight, so we are following more of the Rider Waite Smith style uh, of changing the order of those guys. This hermit's actually pretty darn cute. I can, yeah, okay, I can get on board with these majors. The majors are fine. Um, I'm not all the way obsessed with this artwork, um, but I don't have any problems with it. It's like, it is quite pretty. Um, you know, we got the moon phases on the emperor's crown there. That's kind of neat. And I like how that sits in relation to the Empress having these stars on her crown. So that's kind of nice. I think I went a little hard on the, <laughs> on this half of the deck. So perhaps, I, no, I like this. You know what? And I really like this magician. I like that he's got a big beard. I I like the big hat, you know, and he's even got a bit of a, like, he, he's got hermity feelings to him. He's got his lantern and he's got his big hat and he's got his big beard. So let's, there yeah so our magician and our hermit cute okay yeah i I can get on board with these majors and this fool is really quite cute as well you know i don't mind what's going on with the eyes there are they open oh yeah yeah there's the little peoples underneath okie dokie the sun in the background no the majors are, are lovely this isn't perhaps well it's not that this isn't the type of artwork i would normally buy um, it's not bad. I, yeah, I am happy enough with these majors. Those majors are pretty nice. What would I give them? Eight, eight or nine out of ten, maybe. Maybe eight. Okay, well, this was supposed to be a comparison video to compare the deck. I'm not going to waste the effort on doing that with the miners. Um, and I don't know that it's really worth comparing these ones side by side with the Rider Wade Smith. If anybody wants to see that, I can certainly make another video, but I think most folks are pretty familiar with the images, and uh, yeah, I guess we don't really need to do, uh, do a further comparison. So, okay, I guess my overall thoughts, we can just chat a little bit about um, selling decks at like a home goods store. Um, particularly, this seems to be like with Halloween decorations. So I have never seen decks sold here before, and I always look at their, their stationary section and the board games and stuff. So if there were decks, I probably would have seen them before now. So it does seem to be that this came out as part of a Halloween inclusive thing, because they've always got signs there, you know, fortune teller signs and, you know, the spell book and things like that. So, I mean, I don't, I don't have a problem with that. Um, my gripe would be, if you're going to carry decks, carry nice decks. <laughs> if you're going to carry decks, um, you know, reputable reputable decks that come from 
publishers that properly support artists. I mean, I think we're probably a long way from independent artists getting their art into, you know, department stores and things like that. So that's, that's, you know, a separate thing, but I, I could be on board with the accessibility of tarot anywhere. Like the more times I walk into stores and they sell tarot decks, the happier I'm going to be. So I have no problems at all seeing them, even if they're, you know, being sold as a, as a, a part of a decoration or a display. But if that, you know, gets a deck into the hands of one person who maybe wouldn't have had uh, the, the opportunity or noticed to get a deck, um, and they just happen to find it in the store that day and that starts their journey with the tarot, fantastic. <laughs> you know, the more, the more people that get into this, I think it's great. It's a beautiful tool that I think absolutely anyone can benefit from. Um, it's nice the fact that there is a, a low cost option. Again, I'm really hoping this is not at the expense of some artist having their artwork stolen. Um, I, my fingers are crossed that that is the case. I will take a look and see if I can find anything online. Perhaps I should have done that before the video, but I did want to do the unboxing on here. So I am, you know, I'm all for accessibilities to decks, but you know, if you're going to make them accessible, make them nice. <laughs> Maybe, you know, ones with a good book or I don't know. Now I'm just perhaps being a little bit picky. So I don't have a problem with in general, what I found in that store. Um, or, you know, I think there was a couple, yeah, there were a few Oracle decks there as well. So I'll roll that video as I wrap this up if you guys want to see what the what the end cap there looked like. But this is, I think, pretty much all I have to say about this deck. It's, it's cute enough. Um, I do like the majors. This back is not for me necessarily. I don't really like words on the back. Um, the design is fine. And personal preference, I just typically like a reversible back. But hey, I think... I might work with this one as either a majors only deck or, you know, I, I will actually give this a spin um, at some point going forward because why not? I think they'll read fine. You know, if you're someone who reads with pip cards, it's fine. And I don't know if anyone will be able to find this deck. I, I have no links to share. I don't know where you can find it. <laughs> if not at your, your local home sense, um, this is October 2022 when I'm filming this. So... Or, you know, maybe you can even go to the publisher if this is really your style. Professor Puzzle. <laughs> and, oh yeah, there we go. There's the website right there. www.professorpuzzle.com Cool. Okay. Thank you for joining me for another video. I, you know, I do apologize. This didn't end up turning into a deck comparison. But um, I hope that you enjoyed this. Let me know your thoughts on on the, the display video I'm about to roll. Um, what do you think of this deck? Am I maybe just in a bit of a mood that I'm coming across a bit harsh on it? I don't know. It's not that bad. Like for a pip deck, whatever, it'll be fine. I think I will, I will definitely give it a spin and I can either record another video or maybe I'll just update in the comments below what I think of it. I'm still not a fan of the court cards and I think the majors are nice. So great. Thanks again. We will catch you at the next video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day. So here's the display where I got my deck. This is a black and gold Rider Waite Smith deck uh, without any mention of the artist's name. There was also the Magical Tarot. It was $24, so that was a bit more than I was willing to spend on a deck I wasn't there to buy. Uh, this is a blue and gold version of the Rider Waite Smith, and you can see that the boxes here are different sizes. So something is weird about production there. This is a pack of oracle cards that were there, and then on the bottom there's a crystal book and the tarot deck that we just went through. I liked it because it looked like a little book. It made a cute little stand. So yeah, this is what the end cap looked like where I found the deck.